Instead, simply get two elites with one hit point and uh, and have a run like that. How's it going, Banished Radish? A rare loss greeting you as you enter. Ooh, let's go with late plans. Press, press F to pay respects. I don't think we take the curse here, although if you really wanted relics, this would be a situation to try it out. Caltrops on sale. Interesting. With another shop in a lore, I don't really see any reason to buy anything here unless I really, really, really want Caltrops. I actually do kind of like Caltrops. Let's buy them. Fun card. Is Caltrops a heart damage solution? It can be. Definitely can be. I wouldn't say that's uh, something to rely on here this early in the run. But it definitely can be. Lo and behold, by the way, we do get two elites at one hit point. We can even maybe get the burning elite if we're willing to risk an event here. Redshift J, thanks for the 16 months of support. I think I am going to risk it. Revenge. Take this. Thanks for the tiny chest. Blade Dance can be pretty good, damage-wise. I like me a Blade Dance just fine. Not the world's worst slice, either. Where's the relic at, though? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Guess we'll upgrade this. Go for the Burning Elite and it would burn you. It, it might burn us. I think I am going to go for it here because I want the third Elite after them. And more card rewards overall. Let's try it. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So, I... I can either get a heal and a curse to get the one hit point Elite or we can take the three Mushroom fight with them only having one hit point. And that's a pretty good snipe too, actually. This is not exactly an easy fight, so having this fight be free is kind of cool. We get the odd mushroom relic, we get a card reward, we get maybe another potion. I say we just take this fight, win, and use the card reward and the relic to beat the burning elite normally like. But yes, it will use up Nyao's Lament. I feel like we're okay. Anger the mushrooms. Blade dance. Yeah, we get odd mushroom, so we take less damage when vulnerable. We have a weak potion and a flying knee, dagger spray, or bane. Dagger spray good for dealing with sentries, specifically. Flying knee better against Lega. Take a flying knee with uh, with well laid plans. Oh, and a white bee statue. Potions will always appear from combats. That means we can very easily use both of our potions in the burning elite fight. Let's do it. It's a Legavolin with bonus strength. You got it. Excellent. Most excellent. Look at those Caltrops go. Times two is 16. Okay. Well, a plans really helps uh, even out the draws here, ensures that we can always play the correct balance of offensive and defensive cards each turn. It's quite important. 
Having two upgraded strikes helps a lot, too, with minus strength. Four, four. Easy. Didn't take a single point of damage to that Burning Elite. So I think it was 100% correct to use the Lament on the Fungi Beasts. We got a very good Relic here. Bird Face Turn heals us two per power card we play. Gamba? Gotta love a Gamba. There's also Predator for some decent damage, but I think we got our damage vaguely sorted. Let's take the Gamba. Let's Gamba. This is the Parasite speaking now. That's right. I'm gonna go for Spike Slime first. You're dead, kid. Bang. Don't forget to play both powers. Wait, that wasn't correct. Can I still drink this in time? Let's find out. No. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. It's kind of funny. Uh, do we want a deflect, dodge roll, sneaky strike? I'm going to go with none of the above, although dodge roll is not terrible. And I will happily use Power Potion in this fight. Looking for Thousand Cuts or Noxious Fumes, primarily. And Venom or After Image are also both decent here. Rather like in Venom for this fight. Let's take in Venom here. Camel Crush, thanks for 24 months. It's a lot of waffles. Sure is. Hmm. Can't kill and play while they plans? That's a bummer. This will just kill then. So close. My four hit points. That's all right. We'll beat Guardian pretty decisively. Not too worried here. Get him, Caltrops. Good work. That's right. Anytime a card has multiple lines of text, the effects apply from top to bottom, so that can usually reveal the ordering of events for you. Oh yeah, okay, even more health. Pantograph heals us 25 at the boss fight. We can take either a Glass Knife or another Calc Gamble here. I'm actually down for a Glass Knife. I think that's a really good card for Act 2. Slaps quite a lot. Sure. Does need an upgrade, though. Ooh, not Tiny Chest's fault, mind you. Just a random treasure chest with a Ninja Scroll. Ninja Scroll can bite you in the butt a little bit later in the run, but right now it's a free 12 damage turn one. I'm not going to say no. I'm also going to take another event so that we can get a free chest at the beginning of Act 2. Apparently we're still in the Easy Pool combats. That's pretty funny. Your first three fights in Act 1, your first three non-elite non fights, that is, come from a special subset of encounters designed to be easily defeated by your starting deck called the Easy Pool, which includes this cultist fellow right here. Ooh, 
reflex pot's good. Blur can be nice. I'm definitely down for a blur with a well aid plans. I don't really want to take poison at the moment. So let's take blur to a speed pot flex pot. And upgrade the glass knife. Let's upgrade Keltrops, actually. No, we should upgrade glass knife rack too. Keltrops can be next. Would we take a real in Venom? I don't think so. I think the two cost of it is a bit too high to pay. Do not think that would help me very much. Gamble the rest here. Should play the neutralize for three more. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Forgot to. Caltrops defend, defend here. Spike damage will help out a moderate amount. Playing attacks on Guardian during this phase will result in return damage, something we're looking to avoid for now. Show him, Caltrops. This is a reasonable time to speed potion. Let's do it. We know we're getting a new potion back. Keeps flowing, Stooks, with the six months, six twelfths of a calendar year. Thank you for the support. Odd constant with twelve twelfths of a calendar year. Thank you. And Zakariel the Devil with two months in the Prime sub. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Welcome to Adam Johan from YouTube. How's it going? Yes, neutralize is free damage, essentially, if we use it on the 6x2, but it blocks 8 if we keep it till the turn after that. It's the philosophy we've been using so far. Pretty clean fight overall. So here, for example, we can play neutralize right now. Take 4, reduce the damage by 4, but if we keep it until next turn, it's, it's better block then. Good reason to upgrade neutralize, I suppose. Hit me. And the speed potion comes back. Ooh, speaking of potions, we can get even more potions with alchemize here. Uh, or we can take a burst to let us duplicate a skill. Burst blur, burst blade dance are both things. Snuffy92 with 22 months of support. And Bbron with a 28 months in the prime sub. Thank you. Infinite potions. Yeah, where's Sacred Bark? We could definitely take Sacred Bark if we take Alchemize. I think both Burst and Alchemize are pretty good. We definitely don't need another Glass Knife. An unupgraded Glass Knife at that. Hmm. Burst currently not that good. Burst really wants upgraded skills to duplicate. Let's, let's glug. Let's glug it up. Welp. Uh, I guess I'm taking a runic pyramid with my upgraded well laid plans, as usual. <laughs> as my options are Sozu, no more potions, which is, um, hmm. 
or Velvet Choker, limiting us to six cards per turn, which is, uh, hmm. So, compare that. Best Relic in the game. Runic Pyramid says we no longer discard our hand at the end of each turn. That's pretty good, usually. And honestly, the well-laid plan still does heal us for two. So, heck, I'll take a Pyramid. Hmm. The floor well-laid plan sealed it in. Listen, we needed that well-laid plans to beat Legavulin, okay? We weren't going to win that fight without it. Mr. Fishhead, thanks for the 12 months, 24 Fortnites. And Baylor still hasn't played Fortnite on stream. How can this be? How good at elite murdering am I? Deeply unclear. I'm thinking about going maybe the to both of these shops. We could do something like a remove two. Dunk the remaining two unupgraded strikes. And that leaves us with a pretty good deck. How does corruption work with X cost skills? It will not change them. You still have to pay X to achieve the effect X times. Yeah, they just also get exhausted when you play, I guess. It's the only change. 26 Fortnites. Even more Fortnites. Any other reasonable paths? There's a couple. Excuse you. Oh, good speed potion. Strip all the plated armor off the shelled parasite, it will become stunned. Well, that looks a little difficult to accomplish still. I wonder if I had a flex potion line. Seven more? Or what here? Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Alright. All still well. Here we go. I'll be taking my health back. Thank you. Okay, I like these potions quite a lot. Acrobatics is worth including. Draw three, discard a card of our choosing. Definitely has some utility to it. Bird nerds are here. Well, guess what? I have a Keltrops. Ho, ho, ho. try to get a ghost in a jar. I'm pretty happy with Gambler's Brew Flex Potion for now, though. I think that's really good going into this first elite. So I'm just going to play the well eight plans. Power Pot's not terrible. Eviscerate looks pretty good. With Calculated Gamble. Discard effects in general. I 
is a two hit point potion, but actually killing the enemies is worth more than two hit points. So again, I'm going to keep the potions I know are effective here. Strange Spoon. Now that's unlimited potions. And unlimited shivs, unfortunately. I think I'm mostly here to remove a card. That's my guess. Hand Agreed with Runic Pyramid can be very powerful. It's a true shame we can't afford the Kunai. That would be very strong. Oh well. Give me a relic. Not that one. Oh, Reflex. Also Trip. Probably better than Carter Move. Reflex seems particularly strong, actually. Hey, well done, Sprunzo. Loud with Spears seems like a, a pretty strong potato combo. Lots of reach, lots of damage, lots of hit points. I do like Reflex. It's not actually that helpful yet. Card, card remove is actually probably better. All right, let's just keep removing cards. All right, who's our first elite? It is the three slavers. And I am perfectly content with this turn one draw. This is exactly what the flex potion is for, is for these jumps. I think I Gamba over playing Eviscerate, though. Yeah, that's more like it. And then what we defend? Or do I need to strike again to be able to kill you next turn? Probably, right? Probably. Let's just take the damage up front and then win the fight decisively. So we take 15 and that should be it though. So then we can... The last knife. Strike. Let's go Blur Survivor. This turn we can defend Caltrops and let's go Alchemize. Gotta be careful about wounds in hand, although there's not that many wounds yet. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We pick up a Molten Egg, which means any future attacks will be upgraded. We don't have that many attacks, so we could probably afford one or two of them. Or I can take a Terror, which is just way better. Okay, good talk. Hey, Righty with eight months, what's the Silence favorite pastry? A Ninja Roll. What about a Dodge and Roll? Tempting to upgrade our Caltrops. This is either Gremlin Leader or Book of Stabbing. Really good reason for Caltrops upgrade, actually. Uh, upgrading a cost reduction card is also pretty helpful. Alchemize or Terror. Let's upgrade Terror. I think that's a big deal. It's the Book of Stabbing. We drew Caltrops on turn one. Slightly wish I had upgraded Caltrops, gonna be honest here. We'll still play at turn one. I'm going to discard this plus strike, I suppose. I'm going to play Flying Knee and one Shiv. Try to keep these Shivs in hand until the Terror is played. Keep neutralized for a slightly more dangerous turn. I can go neutralize, plans, blur, defend, defend. Or we can Gambler's Brew and get this Eviscerate online right now. That actually seems way better. Yeah. Ah, 
That's how this fight ought to go. I'm just gonna gamble now. Okay. Blocks best you can. Try to hold on. Me? Doesn't get any easier from here. So it goes 10 by 3. Oh boy. Um. Do we have what it takes to kill this book? Doesn't look like it. Concerning. Hmm. Okay, that changes things a bit, yes? Yes. Exact kill. Easy peasy. We get a paper crane. Enemies that are weak deal 40% less damage. All right, we definitely need to grab the next card that says weaken on it. Like piercing whale. It's not weakened, but it's still good. Shovel lets us dig for relics of rest sites. Please ignore last message. I was never worried. Kill the Centurion before he gets to do anything. Seems good. A little bit of healing, a little bit of ghost in a jar, a little bit of dagger spray plus if we want it. We are fighting collector. I'm gonna take that. I think that helps. Ghost in a jar is a very good potion, of course, providing one turn of intangibility, one turn of total invulnerability at any time we desire. Makes it harder to die. Okay. Chunky Gremlin. What do we do here? We need to finish off the leader sooner rather than later, is what I see. Looks like we're good. Guess I just play Blur? I think so. It should be fine. Nine plus ten plus ten is a kill. Cool. Nice and smooth. Matrushka. The next two chests each contain two relics. Normally a Matrushka this late would not yield anything, but we can use Tiny Chest to force all the relics to appear. Yeah, we didn't have the energy to play Alchemize and kill Gremlin Leader there, unfortunately. If only there was a way to do it. Oh, we did. Oh, because of a Flying Knee? We totally did. I missed the Flying Knee part. Crypto with the 17 months. Thank you, thank you. And Victory Point Gaming, thanks for the 13-person raid. Hello and welcome, everybody. Joining us for some Slay the Spire runs as we attempt to master cards as part of our Slay the Spire Mastery Challenge. To master a card, we have to get two copies of that card and then beat the game. There's only a few cards that we haven't done this with yet. That's right, Matryoshka is just plus one relic at the end of the day, and more insultingly, the bonus relics it gives you can only ever be common or uncommon. So it's like plus one low quality relic at the end of the day. Pretty bad relic overall. My herbal burn any better? Oh yeah, I'm doing a lot better this week. I'm gonna be scarred up for a while and sensitive to sunlight for a while, but um, normal life can resume at least.
keep all that. Sneko Pyramid can be a spooky fight. Manam with three months of support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Take three or Forge Pot. Let's just Forge Pot. Carry that block over. Oh boy. Um, gamble all this garbage. That's more like it. Uh, and keep the shivs in my hand so that I can play the Alchemize next turn. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. Caltrops is five, not three. Of course. I was definitely thinking Caltrops was three there. Another Gamble or another Eviscerate? Both are pretty good. I think I'll take the Gamble. I think I'll take the Gamble. Gamble ridiculously good with Runic Pyramid. And hey! The Red Mask Gang is here to give me all of their gold. How nice. How generous of them, in fact. I killed Bear on turn one. How much damage do I have here? 24... 33 plus 12. Yeah, that's enough. Thanks, Glass Knife. Maybe should have used the Strength Potion to make that easier on me? Maybe. Definitely maybe. Team by three. Hmm. Surf and Ale, thanks for the three months of support. turn. Definitely should have used the Strength Potion on turn one, is what I'm seeing here. Kept the Piercing Whale. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, Eviscerate alone won't kill Romeo, but it will kill um, Pointy, I guess. That'll work. And this turn is mediocre, but acceptable. Let's block three times, take two. Hey, you can't do that again. That's illegal. too as well. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We get the red mask. Applying weak to all enemies on turn one. Dash plus blade dance plus. Or another terror. Not really a fan of any of these. How long will we be, we'll be playing Spire today? I'm hoping to do at least two runs of Spire. At least. Dash is decent on four energy, I agree. Sadly, not something we have at the moment is four energy. And we might not get four energy. Telemachus with 11 months in the Prime sub. Thank you. Let's see. Probably want to upgrade one of these gambles. Oh, actually, no. We want to upgrade Neutralize because we have Paper Crane. Is there a chance for some Monster Train this week? There's a chance for some Monster Train today after the Slay the Spire. Oh yeah, there'll be Monster Train. Fear not. So, damage output versus Collector, relatively difficult. We might struggle a bit in this fight. I'm more than prepared to use the Ghost in a Jar if we need to. Although I'm hoping the Paper Crane can help a lot too. 
It's not a bad start. I'm gonna keep one shiv. To play defend for hand space reasons, I'm not going to. Alright, you get weakened now. Go to 12 mediocre damage. We definitely play Caltrops to get the chip damage on the minions each turn. And I guess I could block pot Alchemize. Let's do that. What are you? Ooh, Discovery, Dramatic Entrance, or Hand of Greed. Hand of Greed can make us 20 gold and does pretty good damage right now. Discovery could be anything, though. Still, 20 gold? 20 gold's good. Focus on you first. Block. Block? Caltrop's dealing 15 damage this turn, and another 15 this turn. That's not nothing at all. That's substantial. We just block three times again. Should have used that shiv though. try to blur here. I think we need to deal damage, though. As ineffective as we are at it. Halfway there? That's a good sign. Just got a block for 32. Surely this will be easy. Card. Ouch. No attack this turn. Thank goodness. Should not have discarded neutralize when I did. Oh, here it is. Good. Nicteen. This is a great turn for Piercing Whale. Reduce all of this incoming damage. We might have to ghost in a jar next turn from the looks of it. Maybe you wanted to try to acro into Eviscerate there. The damage value is so cute, though. Twenty-one health left. This is the last debuff turn, so if we can make it through this turn, we're probably okay. There's really not much to save me in the draw pile, though, so it feels like this more or less has to be the Ghost in a Jar. I don't see a way to kill the Cultist quickly enough. I don't see a way to kill Collector quickly enough. I'm not seeing it here. Let's just use it. Just do it. Focus on killing the boss. Best we can. Debuffs are gone. We're back to full power here. We should be able to kill next turn with Hand Agreed. But does Collector block herself? Can't remember. She does. Hmm. Maybe I needed to play Flying Knee really badly? I might have needed to. That's not enough damage. Guess we need Eviscerate. Uh, let's go Dagger Spray first. That way we can maybe kill the minions. With the redraw. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like we're still fine though, right? We can kill both minions and block. Easy. 
Easy. If the solution you were looking for isn't there, look for a different one. No problem. These cards are okay. Don't hate this tools the trade. Heals us for two, makes the eviscerate a bit better. Makes hand clog less of a thing. Unload and I definitely don't want unload with pyramid. Last knife is passable. I don't really want two glass knives going into the end game. I grab the tools for the heal, and this is our only energy option, Vernic Dome, so I guess I'm taking it. Can no longer see what enemies are doing, but we do get one more energy each turn. I think it'll have to do. That's right, tools the pyramid will hit hand limit and then discard. You can go up to go up to ten, then discard one. Yeah, paper crane is gonna have to carry. We're gonna need some leg sweeps if we want the paper crane to actually work though. I don't mind Runic Dome so much with a decent amount of healing. Can I take on four elites? Only one way to be sure. Definitely want to make sure we visit three question mark rooms to get the bonus relic from Matrushka. Super worthwhile. I think we do something like this. Are we taking a Sucker Punch Plus if offered? Oh yeah, we're taking... Oh man, we have Paper Crane Red Mask. I hadn't processed that. Yes, we'll take it any any source of weaken, essentially. I'm going to damage them all enough. Seems pretty bad. Really don't have any blocking power. We can block for five or ten each turn. It's it's not enough anymore. It used to be enough, but it is no longer even close to enough. And I do not like it. Attacking this turn. Hurting me. Don't like it. Please and thank you. Okay, we managed to survive. I am super taking flechettes here. Damage per. Wait, no, sucker punch. I'm super taking sucker punch here. Good talk. And I'm losing Strike. See you later. Actually, wait. Welly Plans might be a better loss than Strike Plus. The Welly Plans can heal us for two, but that's all it does. Get out of here. Actually quite happy to lose that card. How's it going, Hot Car Carl Marx Bros? Life's good at the moment. Solid improvement from last week. In every way that counts. So I'll take it. Uh, two happy potions at the moment. I care about a cloak and dagger. We know kunai is not a thing, so I really don't think that I do. Madnesses don't seem very good. No, they don't. All right, what do we got, Mr. Merchant Man? Bag of prep is here. Prismatic shard is here. Questionable. 
Definitely questionable. Could simply remove another card. Plenty of good candidates. Even the defends could think about leaving at this point. The ninja scroll makes the bag of prep unfortunately useless. We've already got a 10 card opening hand. Sneaky strike is not terrible. Shard when you need a miracle. This could give us actual miracles. Could find a collect. Charting to go for the eyes. Overall, no, yeah, not exactly a great shop. Pretty happy to keep taking silent cards at the moment. You're really short on blocks, huh? Hard draw either. Not getting attacked on this turn. All right, now the big hits arrive, starting with a hit for forty damage. Looks like we need to use one of these potions as well. Maybe both, actually. This fight's tough. Uh, 40 goes to 24 with the paper crane is the good news. So it's only 24 headed our way, but we're only about halfway there. That's not great. What do you have? Reflex can help. Reflex could definitely help a little bit here. Overall, I don't think it's going to be good enough, huh? Alright, we need this to do that. So be it. And then it should increase by a solid 3 per turn, so 27 this turn. giant head this turn, realistically. So let's make sure that happens. Good. More energy with a happy flower. That's excellent. And finally, a real footwork for blocking with. Very important. I'm gonna upgrade that right away, actually. I think I need to. Now we want a backflip, although it could be hard to get our hands on one. Two new daggers. Unfortunately, we don't know if the Reptomancer is attacking us or not, which is... 
kind of spooky. Hmm, I want that dagger spray. Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> they all have one hit point. That's not what I wanted. This is definitely not what I wanted. And I guess play this. Ouch. Good. Thank you for not murdering me on that turn. Can't finish the Rupto here. Starting to fall behind, bit by bit. This only does four as well. That's even more concerning. So I have to just not block at all? That's not going to go over well. Um, don't kill me, I guess? You might just kill me. Thanks for not killing me. Run definitely could have just ended there. Good talk. Very good talk. About a bottled calculated gamble. Sounds good to me. Good reason to upgrade that card, although I don't have any upgrades to give. Thank you, Snake. Oh, thank you, Meat on the Bone. Meat on the Bone Centennial Puzzle. And don't forget, our next question mark room has two more relics for us. We just have to beat the giant head again. Surely that is easy. Guess I'll take it infinite blades for this fight. these on a later turn to do more damage with glass knife or something. Attacked on this turn and next turn. this turn. All of my block is missing for some reason. Don't even worry about it. Take a little bit for the uh, puzzle here. It's okay. Now we'll get the puzzle. Good question mark. Yeah. 
question mark indeed. Ouch. We do 160 damage in one turn. We might be able to, actually. Unironically here. Damage twice, 17 damage three times. Ooh, not quite, huh? Shoot. Not quite. Ouch. Bummer. Thought we could do that. Lizard Dale means we're gonna stay in the game for a bit longer yet. If we would die, heal to half health instead. I'm gonna keep going this way. Juzu Bracelet Courier. Hmm. All right. Courier is kind of nice. I'll take this event. This could be what? Mind Bloom now? Glowing Tesseract. It's worth it. Panic button's strong. Blind is strong. Wait a minute. Double transmutation? Well. This just got interesting. How the heck am I supposed to win now? <laughs> and then we died. Immediately. Thanks, Juzu. Question mark. Many question marks. Let's give it one more time. Yeah. Clicking cards too much, that's why. And you know what? It's fun. It's really fun. Alright, health is returning to us. Mediocre cards are here. Dare I brave one more elite? Feel like we kind of have to. Darth Malaku with the nine months of the prime sub. Thank you. We're keeping it cozy. Let's skip it all. Like the Nemesis. Nemesis with Runic Dome, definitely a little bit on the spooky side. Just play Mayhem and it'll all work out. Easy. We have to get attacked on this turn. Some variety. Please. for the moment. Okay. Some block retained. That's pretty good. More mayhem.
Okay, it's either the big hit or no attack this turn. No way to know which one. Off the top of the head. So we're safe either way. Just more burns. You got it, mister. Double mayhem. To the rescue. That's a good potion. Fortunately, this fight is ending, I think, right now. I certainly hope right now. Uh-oh. Shift potion says yes. Tingsha! If we discard a card during our turn, deal three damage to a random enemy. Oh my, with double calculated gamble, you say? And a backflip for card draw and block. You'd love to see it. Only problem is we got a recall here. No upgrading that calculated gamble, at least not yet. And we also get a heal off of the Pantograph, which is pretty exceptional also. Did we ever dig? No, we have no digs this uh, this run. My hand is full. Ding, ding. Let's get rid of one of these. Stay weak. It seems hard to deal damage without playing Caltrops, and yet I don't think I want to give the weakened one the strength. Seems kind of bad. Alright, strike you, block three times. You heard me. I'll be tacked early, huh? Well, that, my friend, is rude. But I understand. I think Terra has to go here. Let's use one of these now. What tools the trade? Let's try also to not play that. Less powers we play, the less strength the Awakened One will have. Although, this is going to turn into a problem real fast, huh? Let's use that to help. Ouch. There we go. There's really just not that many block cards in the deck. Tools of Trade would help with this problem that we're having. Got to be enough on most turns. Yeah, perfectly covers the soul strike at the moment. What about your single strikes? How much of those? 14, okay. 14 is easy enough to block. Let's see what transmutation has. Free bullet time, now we're talking. I like it. Sadistic nature for the second half of the fight's not too bad either. Not too bad. So hand space is still an issue, I can see. 
are slowly hemorrhaging hit points. Oh, another calculated gamble. How convenient. Get him. For shenaniganry. Now's the time. To keep all this blocked to make us immune to this part. Piercing well during the phase transition, that's okay though. Five additional damage each time we weaken now. That's quite helpful. Poor energy, though. He does what? Eight times three. Okay, it's not bad. That's not too bad. Surely, it's happening. Knife is no longer sufficiently strong to warrant inclusion here. GG. Back to completely full health thanks to Meat on the Bone plus Pandagraph here. And we're into the Donu and Deca fight, which is probably easier than Time Eater, although I'm not actually sure for this deck. But yeah, easy full, easy full heal between fights there. Easy peasy. Let's see, we need to remove some artifact layers. Let's go with Donu first here. Here, draw some cards. It work. It work again, but let's go. Try not to use my potion. Possible. Oh boy. Yeah. 
the bomb. Secret technique, the backflip, might as well. Bomb seems good. This turn does not seem good. Ow. It's only 14. Not that bad, actually. Two targets is very hard to keep them both weak. It becomes quite an issue suddenly. Yeah, this fight has to end real soon. Looks like I'm dead. 12 strength. This would be 24 by 2. Paper crane does not reduce it to enough. We need to push in here. That'll loop. Oh yeah, we've got lizard tail too, but I'd, I'd much rather not use the lizard tail. Definitely would prefer not to. damage there. No biggie, though. That was a very clutch potion. That's for sure. armor and shove it. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Barely survive this. Pretty sure. Yeah, easy. Easy every time. How's it going, Zach? I do not use any mods for Against the Storm, no. Totally unmodded. Okay, we are technically alive, the best kind of alive. To thump, to thump, to thump, a beat deep pulsing dread can be felt out the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this transmuting? Can we possibly use the lizard tail and the paper crane as enough defense to get through Act 4? I'm not sure, but maybe. As tempting as it is to rest at this fire, I think we absolutely positively need to upgrade this calculated gamble if we want to have any chance of winning. I don't know if that's correct, but here we are. Tori is here. Hmm. Tori plus Paper Crane is really strong. 
Especially with the Caltrops in the deck. Some decent relics here too. Toolbox is okay. Cultist Potion could make a big difference in the heart fight. I'm thinking Forge Potion Tori. So we can afford them both. Could also do second Caltrops, although not in addition to Tori and Forge Potion. Yeah, I just have to make it through the big hits. And remember, the big hits are only going to be like 20 or 30. The only problem is we don't actually know when the big hits are because of Runic Dome. Let's, let's do it this way. Maybe that Tori is a waste of our money, but hopefully not. Greetings to these chumps. I'm happy to use the Forge Potion in this fight. Right here, even. Let's just do it. It's not bad. I don't know if the Spire Shield is attacking me this turn. Interesting Whale in hand for next turn looking good. Do Terror Sucker Punch. Let's do that. Use the Terror is the artifact remove. Feels kind of bad, but... It's also pretty good. Okay, that means you're not attacking this turn, which is excellent. We can just go Piercing Whale, Caltrops, focus turn around and such. Or I can just Gamba here. Go to Gamba. Well, let's go Glass Knife Gamba. Glass Knife Acro Gamba for big damage. There we go. Like that. Show your thorns, friend. You stay weak. Turn around. Personally, Dagger Spray doesn't do much here. You're attacking for quite a lot as well. I guess we probably need to Piercing Whale here. Panic Button with full block. Means we have nothing for next turn, though. I don't think I'm going to. Easy. It's a full block anyway. Just what you want to see. So that means Spire Spear is buffing. Shield might attack one more time here. It's really up to the shield what it chooses to do. And then this turn, I think the shield blocks and the spear multi-hits. So I think we need the panic button here. We also need to start finishing them off sooner rather than later. dishing damage onto the shield for the moment. Unfortunately, the thorns damage keeps getting negated here. What do we do this turn, though? This turn you attack with a big hit, right? Seems to me like we might need to dupe pot gamble to have any chance here. This turn is really bad. This is the turn where they get us, looks like. I'm going to try duping. Yeah, where's all our damage output? It's here in the Tingsha. There we go. Okay, that should be enough, right? Just enough? Just enough. 
Excellent. Okay. Good. Didn't even get attacked, even better. Okay, that went really well. Although I don't like that we had to use the dupe pot. Having full health into heart actually gives us reasonable odds here. Four times attack this turn. Another panic button. And I blur, sure. You get him, Keltrops. Flower on two. It's a good number for it to be on. Or on one runner. Turn two, happy flower. Gambling chip. Awesome. Sort of turn combat. We can discard any number of cards and draw that many again, dealing damage with Tingsha. We're offered one more backflip, which I am going to take. And a smoke bomb, of course. The potato chip. Sounds good. the Centennial, unfortunately. Let's push it, huh? That's pretty good right now. Guaranteed draw into the void. I would like to do that, but we should play something else first. The glass knife? Some damage in. So we draw the void without any problem here. I'm gonna have to tank the entirety of this attack. If it's the multi hit, we only take 1 by 15. If it's the big hit, we'll take uh, quite a lot. Ow, 33. Okay, that means this is 1 by 15. Or we can stop it entirely with Piercing Whale well to be 0 by 15, which could be worth it. Might, might, might make more sense just to block it, though. Five damage back per multi hits. Don't forget, we've got the lizard tail still. And there's no block in my hand. Oh, that's not good. I guess we're going to use Calculator Gamble here. Uh, let's make this the Flex Potion turn. Although I can only do 122 more, huh? I think we're going to hit that anyway, actually. Let's not make this the Flex Potion turn. Let's go Glass Knife, Gamble. Eviscerate. And either flying knee or defend. I'm gonna go with flying knee. This here we've gone to. Keep six block into this turn. Heart is still weakened for three more turns. 
This turn is either a big hit or a multi-hit, just like before. With the Paper Crane in effect, the big hit will be a base value of 27? Whatever 47 times 0.6 is. What is that? 28. 28 incoming, or a 2 by 15 from the multi-hit. So this will keep us pretty safe. Uh, Tori should keep us mostly safe. So let's get some damage in here. Glass knife, dagger spray. What's the multi hit? It's actually kind of bad. Because that means there's now actually 27 headed our way this turn, and I don't have any block cards. Which means I think we have to use the lizard tail here. I don't see a way to actually pull this off at the moment. Which means we should do a lot of damage this turn. Just smoke bomb, easy. Let's go neutralize flying the eviscerate. Let the lizard tail go. Love something, you must let it go. Hmm. We're also not having any weakness next turn. That's not good. Do some damage. Can't get you below 200, though. Hmm. Okay, looks like we need to use Piercing Whale to remove the artifact so that we can apply Blind. Full strength, this will be at 49 damage, or 6 by 15, which would super kill me. So yeah, we go Piercing Whale first, Blind second. 49 times 0.6. We always live the multi-hit. We have to block for 29. That's not too bad. So that's a perfect block as it is, but we need to deal damage too. Beat three is definitely spooky. But we're still in it to win it here. It's not yet flex potion time, that's what I'm seeing. Can't kill it this turn. We have to survive this turn. Ooh, I like it. Stuff with the flex pot next turn. Don't play anything. Now we use the flex potion. GG, Twitch chat. That was a close one. Very close. Nice to meet you. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.